Daily Devotionals for January 22nd. Today's scripture reading will be Deuteronomy 8, verses 6 through 10. And I'm not going to read all of it, but portions of it. Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. We always need to have a reverential fear of the Lord. Verse 7, For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and springs that flow out of valleys and hills. We have been in a time of transition, and things are really escalating now. God is moving by his hand people into the place of their promise. Verse 8, A land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees, pomegranates, a land of oil, olive oil, and honey. Okay, he's bringing us to the fruitfulness of, of the promise that that he has given each of us, okay? And each one of us is responsible. You can't go to your neighbor and say, what's my promise? God has spoken to each of us. Verse nine, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, you're gonna have plenty, in which you will lack nothing, okay? God is not a, a skimpy God, okay? He is plentiful. He's El Shaddai. He's the mighty breasted one. He is the one of more than enough. A land whose stones are iron, and out of those hills you can dig copper. So there's going to be an abundance from the land you possess. So when you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. So... It's a real time of thanksgiving, a time of prosperity, a time that we will be lacking nothing. But we need to be hearing what God is saying. If he tells us to go, go. If he tells us to stay, stay. You know, it's where he has designed for you to be. Many times we are prosperous in a place for a time and a season, and then the well dries up and it's time to move to another well, to another place of prosperity. So this is the season where God wants to prosper the body of Christ, his bride. So have an ear to hear, be willing to go when and where he tells you because he's prepared us, okay? And now he's sending us. All right, till next time, be blessed.